Hi everyone and welcome to this final meeting of PolyDesign Digital Open Day. I'm Sofia D'Alessandro and I work in International Affairs Office of PolyDesign, a society founded by Politecnico di Milano. Today we are here with uh, Professor Susanna Testa, the didactic coordinator of our Master in Fashion Tech, and she will present and give us some insights about the Master. At the end of the presentation, there will be a Q&A session, so feel free to uh, type your questions in the dedicated chat box, and at the end, we'll be answering to them. I'll leave the floor to Susanna. Thank you. So thank you very much for this introduction. And um, so yes, it's Susanna Testa. I'm the coordinator of the Master in Fashion Tech. And today here with me, uh, we have the pleasure also to have uh, uh, our former uh, student, uh, Komal Karani, who is uh, uh, today also supporting us with uh, the didactic coordination and tutoring. Um, this master is di directed by Professor Alba Cappellieri um, as a scientific director, as well as Professor Botti uh, as a technical director. So let's see what we have. So first of all, welcome. Um, so the master that we are offering uh, um, wants to address, uh, um, let's say, first of all, the field of innovation, and in particular, digging and, and exploring uh, um, the field of sportswear, activewear, and, uh, um, let's say, interactive technologies applied to the field of garments. Uh, of course, this can be as well translated not only into something that is very much technical, uh, as the technical gear might be, but it wants also to address uh, the field of leisure wear and uh, the ready to wear. All this uh, linked, of course, uh, to the topic of sustainability. So all the projects and all the topics that we will cover will, of course, address as well, uh, not only the technological innovation, but as well uh, the application of the technological innovation applied to um, a sustainable concept. So um, this master starts from uh, the observation uh, that the fashion in industry is uh, in a constant evolution. Um, and this, of course, needs uh, um, specific uh, attention and a specific, uh, um, let's say, challenge also from uh, the didactic perspective. What do we mean with fashion tech? Uh, of course, maybe this could be uh, a question of yours. Uh, maybe you were intrigued by the name. Uh, what we mean by fashion tech is this uh, like focus over on to new products, uh, new services, new processes, but also tools as well as professionals uh, that arise from an interdisciplinary approach. And this, uh, how do we do this? Uh, so um, the goal of this master, and I would say also the heart of this master, um, the core of it uh, is uh, the relationship with the companies. Um, so it's really important for us uh, to really um, create an actual bridge with the companies in order to understand what are their needs and also where the market is heading, not only in the next future, but really understanding where, um, let's say, the innovation can be also seen uh, in uh, the year ahead. How do we do this? Uh, we, uh, you will see now when we will uh, discover, let's say, the, the, the master into details, but uh, through an ongoing dialogue and knowledge exchange with companies uh, that are in our um, partnership, uh, as well as like we continue to explore and establish new partnerships with companies, not only in the field of, uh, let's say, the final products, but as well in the field of uh, um, raw materials and textiles. So we already gave a sort of an overview. Um, so as, you, as, I, as we said, as I said, uh, um, the, the, the goal of this master is to train professionals able to develop skills, uh, both in the field of sportswear uh, design, but as well the one of activewear, the one of uh, uh, interactive, but as well uh, like moving uh, into the field of leisure wear, um, but as well, like in all the different cases, with a specific focus on the topic of sustainability. Um, so, of course, this master is very much uh, addressing uh, the technological innovations, 
and not only it explores uh, the possible functions related to the new needs uh, and uh, um, of the fields that we are exploring and, and addressing, um, which, is, which are, of, of course, very much performative, functional oriented, but as well uh, uh, merging it with the aesthetics. So, so really trying to combine what is something that has, uh, let's say, um, a design approach uh, um, towards aesthetic, merging it uh, with the function that uh, technical uh, gear might require. Um, so another important aspect of this master is really focusing on uh, the new needs uh, of consumers. So um, the idea really of the different workshops that is actually, you will see them together, are the heart of the master itself, which are challenge-based, design challenge-based, um, start from the real needs of the consumers and the new emerging lifestyles. So really, like if you like have an idea on how fashion is evolving, we are now moving into global collections, you don't have any more like, specific seasons that you, that you want to, to address specifically. Um, also, if you think about your, your, your wardrobe, also a few different clothing items, and as well, uh, an importance that is always raising uh, towards uh, the environmental impact that this may have. So recycling, reusing, and repurposing are going to be at the base, at the core of, uh, let's say, all the challenges that might change, OK, in terms of brief. But uh, this will be always a uh, sort of, um, let's say, base uh, for all the projects that the students will develop uh, in our master. So what kind of professional do we train? So our goal is really starting from the need of the company and developing professionals that are able in like a wider way to, um, let's say, um, face challenges that start from, uh, let's say, that go through throughout the entire value chain. So from... Uh, uh, the part dedicated to the textile and the raw material, but going through the coating and as well being able to design, of course, understanding um, the pr production phases uh, and being able to support, uh, let's say, the product development, but as well uh, the communication part. Uh, so also on have a, having an understanding of what it means also to commercialize a product uh, and be able to uh, create something that has a specific uh, place in the market. So you can see here the three different areas of, uh, say, professionals that we, we train. Of course, these are sort of generalizations, but uh, um, the area that we address are the one of research and development, style office, and production. It's also very important that we address, we will see it later also in the presentation, but we uh, address with this master not only designers but people coming from different areas um, and different sectors so for example we had students coming from engineering as well as marketing and the idea is really to of course create a sort of a common base knowledge for all of them but really also trying to uh, since also the classes are not very wide in terms of numbers we have a limited number of people allowed in to also um, make sure that all the different professional figures can be, in a way, cherished throughout the, the, the path. And, of course, if you enter, let's say, the master as an engineer, maybe, like, your first interest is not going to be specifically, I don't know, um, research, the research phase, but maybe you have, like, another interest within, uh, let's say, the... Uh, the final goals that you could reach as a professional. So, anyway, the professionals that we, that we shape, that we, we want to train, are related to research and development, to the style office, so I would say the more creative part of the design process, but as well to the production phase. And this, you also have to imagine, that is not only related to the final product itself, but we have also very many students that... Uh, um, were with us in the past edition that uh, work, for example, for um, coating companies or textile companies. So it really depends on uh, um, the needs of uh, the student itself. 
So how is the master structured? We have, um, uh, it's divided in this scheme into five main parts. Uh, you will have uh, the four, the, the, the first the four parts uh, here at Polydesign, um, but then you will have uh, the final part uh, in a company as an internship. Um, first of all, uh, once, you, once you will join uh, eventually this master, you will go through a theoretical part, a theoretical part that will be um, uh, delivered uh, through um, lecture given by different professionals coming from the field. Uh, these people could be um, professionals that work in the companies, but as well athletes uh, that come and bring their own uh, a uh, specific case study as a specific need uh, of uh, an end user of the product uh, to be used. Um, and so this wants to cover somehow the sport where today, but uh, also, uh, also um, giving the possibility to students to understand also how to, uh, for example, identify new trends or identify the needs of uh, the new customers. So this is, let's say, the preliminary part of the master. The second part is dedicated to tools. Uh, the tools are the alphabet, so the common alphabet that we um, ask students to be able to, uh, to use in order to communicate uh, among them, but also to the companies. Um, we said that we allow in students that come from different uh, environments, uh, but what is really important for us uh, also during uh, the interview moment is to understand that uh, um, no matter, let's say, the, the context uh, in which they come from, uh, they are able to respond uh, in a creative way to a design challenge. Um, but of course, uh, it's important that we make sure that uh, all of our students have uh, a common base knowledge of uh, the tools, uh, in particular, the digital modeling uh, and uh, uh, the graphic and the presentation. Digital modeling, uh, we use uh, from this year to different software, both Rhinoceros uh, as well as Flow 3D, um, which are very much required by the companies today. And as well, for the graphic part, uh, we um, like, train students in order to craft uh, professional presentations in order to address the company in a, the most professional way possible. Then we have the design workshops. Design workshops are the heart of this uh, master. Uh, there are five, and uh, each and every one is approximately 60 hours or either 90 hours long. Um, it, they're one after the other, okay? And uh, each and every one is addressing a specific design challenge. Each and every one, we will see them together in brief, but uh, you, so, so just to give you an overview on, on what we mean uh, with, with these titles, um, each and every one is done in collaboration with one or multiple companies. Sometimes we have uh, the company that uh, provides, let's say, the final product on the market, and as well uh, coupled with... Uh, a, te um, a company that, uh, for example, work into the textile environment or coating environment or um, other supplies that can be useful for the, the making of the final product. So, um, let's see. So, and, and of course, all these professional figures will intervene during the, the workshops and will support the reviews from the, um, let's say, um, brief... Uh, um, moment uh, all the way through the research uh, and uh, uh, through the, let's say, the design, the, the, the actual design phase and to the final presentation. Sometimes we do have also guests joining, um, as in the case of athletes, uh, maybe we are designing something for a specific kind of athlete. Um, in this case, we also had the chance to have them and discuss with them what are their actual needs in order to orient the design in that way. So, just to give an overview on the kind of challenges that we have, so Fashion Tech Lifestyle this year was done in collaboration between Polar Tech and Udini. Um, Polar Tech is a company that works on, uh, let's say, um, innovative textiles, and Udini is instead a company um, that works in the, in the field of the final product. So, 
uh, in this case was a good, um, uh, let's say, match because each and they were already partner and they were able to give a challenge that uh, was also an interest for them um, and to create something, a collection that could fit uh, into their, um, let's say, offer but using, of course, uh, in an innovative way, the material provided by um, the Polartec. So usually, uh, then each and every brief is, uh, is different, each and every year we have different companies and different challenges, but uh, most of the times the process go through a phase dedicated to the brand identity, so understanding uh, the brand and uh, uh, fine-tuning with the brand itself, uh, understanding the products that they have, uh, and also then working on the final target, um, and then working on the design. Here, of course, it's just an overview. The project was much more in-depth, but so that you have an idea on the kind of uh, product and um, technicalities that uh, we ask students to, to work on. So defining the shape, but also defining the kind of materials, the, um, the, the company who produces them, and really creating something that could actually be something feasible for them and for the market. Last year we had uh, another, it was always Polartec, but we coupled with another brand, uh, which was Santini. So the challenge in this case was different because they addressed uh, um, the target of bikers, of commuters. So of course here uh, they had to address uh, also their design, uh, the design uh, strategy and uh, the analysis on the different target. And then, of course, the final presentation where you see also the, um, the use of Clothe 3D as a tool for presentation. Um, activewear is something that we've been always done since the very first um, uh, edition with Colmar. Um, Colmar is a brand that works uh, uh, specifically with uh, um, ski wear. Uh, and, uh, of course, also in this case, the idea was to create something that could be used uh, within uh, uh, like a sportswear environment, but with a strong link to sustainability. So trying to use a monomaterial in order to be able to, let's say, recycle it in the proper way. I'm just going to go through it. It's important that you understand, uh, in a way, the kind of project and not so much getting into details, but at least you have an impression of what, of what we do. Um, moving to sportswear. Um, sportswear this year was done in collaboration with Ducati and in particular uh, with uh, a strong focus over on uh, the millennials target. And the idea in this case was not only to work on the garments themselves, but also to work on the communication. So they, they were asked to understand the final target, to um, uh, dig into it, uh, do a marketing and merchandising research, uh, uh, of course, designing the concept, and then lastly, moving into the design phase. Just showing you that it's a research that starts from a market analysis, understanding the positioning, the target, and then start moving on the actual collection uh, in terms of, of requirements. In all these cases, it's very interesting because you have people coming from the company, guiding students all the way through and explaining them how things are made, how things are put together, what kind of materials is important to be used. So it's not really something that you design out of the blue, but is really a continuous exchange with professionals and companies being there and supporting the didactics. <clears throat> okay, so this was uh, um, this year. Last year, instead, it was more related to textile, and the challenge was to develop an actual textile that could be UV protective. Um, and, uh, and it was addressing uh, um, the market offer of Decathlon. Um, so, of course, as you can see, uh, the challenge was, was really like different in terms of requirements. Um, performance sportswear this year was with M OMP, uh, Formula Uno, Formula One. Um, and here again, uh, working in close contact with uh, the company, understanding what are the needs uh, in, in, the, in the environment. Uh, 
and defining materials that could fit, uh, be protective, uh, but as also be comfortable and uh, uh, be in line with the actual requirement of safety given by the sport uh, uh, that was addressed. Okay, so you see all the different details. In this case, it was really like very, uh, I would say, um, functionality oriented. No? Um, the year before, we did a collaboration with SLAM. So in this case, it was sailing, land to land, but the approach was much more to understand how from sail we could move and hybridize also the leisure wear. So, uh, students had to work on uh, garments that could change uh, throughout the time and be adaptable to the sailing, but also be able to be used in a more of a urban context. So here are some proposals. And lastly, the interactive fashion, which is the one that can be a little bit more challenging due to the fact that really uh, addresses something that is a, a lot forward looking. <laughs> Um, so, in this, uh, this, for this edition, we had a very nice collaboration with Bemis and Saleva. Um, and, um, and here, in this case, it was really to explore what was a possible need of, uh, let's say, um, uh, let's say the, 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 the skiing sport, uh, but also the mountain sports uh, in, uh, let's say, um, 10 years ahead. So of course here um, it was the challenge was also to imagine what these needs would be uh, in terms of technologies of new materials also thinking about uh, what the world is going through in terms of climate change so also in this case uh, like reimagining the sports considering uh, like the need of uh, uh, the world today so you see a consumer analysis uh, and then working on the materials themselves and also then trying to understand what kind of uh, textile and um, bonding materials could work better for the need. <clears throat> Last year instead it was more about wearable technologies um, and so students had to focus on one of these three different uh, scenarios, so metaverse and gaming, workwear or medical and uh, identify a possible solution that considered embedded technologies. Okay. <clears throat> then, uh, after this, this design workshop part, we have the part dedicated to the presentation and portfolio, so where we have a sort, a sort of a wrap-up of what we, do, what, what we did during the workshop so that the student can finalize their portfolio and present themselves to the companies. And lastly, we have uh, the company, uh, the internship. So the internship is done um, in, a, in a company that could, be, uh, that could belong both to final production, so for final products, but also to, uh, let's say, coating and uh, uh, textile. So this is something that we also discussed together at the, at the end of the, let's say, the part here at school. So really to understand what are the actual needs of the student in order to find the proper match with the company. Okay, so let's move into dates and deadlines. So uh, the Master in Fashion Tech, Master in Fashion Tech is going to start uh, um, basically one, in one year from now. So it's going to be Monday the 28th of October in 2024. Um, it's mainly going to be physical, but of course, now we are prepared for any sort of uh, happening that we have to change the didactic into a digital mode. The master is addressed to students coming from uh, different sectors, I would say, but that are very much uh, um, like creative problem solving oriented, um, are keen on working in teams uh, in an international environment. Um, and that, uh, of course, won't uh, have the will to address uh, the specific field of, uh, uh, let's say, innovation applied to, to, to fashion with, uh, let's say, um, this uh, sportswear-oriented um, approach. Well. <clears throat> So why choosing the master? Why choosing the master? Uh, because we are pretty much uh, offering uh, the, the possibility of joining a master that uh, is, considering, is considering as much as possible the need of uh, um, the field today. 
um, we are very much linked with the companies and I think this is a super important plus for this offer because it's not something that you only do here at Politecnico but really is a continuous exchange and of course this is very much beneficial for a master that is a specializing master that has the aim to create this bridge between uh, let's say the university but uh, like, like helping students to find their own way in the market. Here are some of the companies that we collaborate with, that you can see them. We have here an overview on uh, our nice faces uh, from, let's say, the uh, scientific coordinator, who is Alba Cappellieri, Professor Botti, uh, the, te the technical coordinator, me, but also Comal, you will see, and ma very many different uh, professionals that work as, let's say, teachers also within the master in order to pass the knowledge and uh, uh, help students in uh, replying to the challenges that are, that are uh, being given them. Okay, so here just some, uh, some final, uh, final, let's say, informations. Um, so the deadline in order to be able to, to attend the master and to, to submit the, the, um, the application for the EU and non-EU who graduated in Italy uh, is uh, mm, August 28th, while instead uh, for the non-EU citizen who, who graduated abroad uh, is July 28th. Very important that if you know that you have to go through a visa process, uh, that you really start soon uh, to do this, uh, because it's, it's super big pity that uh, you start uh, the um, application late. We will, we will of course, ad admit in the sense that if you are eligible and you are in line with our requirements, um, but uh, for us it's super important that uh, we are here and we can exchange knowledge within uh, the community that we create. Um, what do you have to do? If you are interested in joining the course and do an application, you need to present your CV, your motivational letter, a portfolio of projects, um, of course, uh, if you come from uh, another field that is not design or architecture, you might as well uh, maybe uh, like support uh, your background with some sort of case studies in order for us to understand uh, like your capability of uh, like being able to creatively, um, let's say, um, solve a problem, let's say. And then you have to have your IDs uh, and your, the copy of the bachelor de degree and the copy of the university's transcript uh, of records. Um, we have the fees as well. So it's uh, 11,000 um, for, let's say, for, um, for the year. Um, and uh, 500 is given to uh, Politecnico di Milano enrollment fee and the rest is the attendance fee. So, thank you very much for your attention. Uh, we are here to answer your questions. We have also here um, Komal, who is uh, not only like a previous student, but also now tutoring this uh, uh, current edition. So if you have any doubt, any um, even curiosity to ask her as a student, I think it's super nice that she was able here to join us. Uh, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Okay. Thank you, Professor Testa, for this very interesting conversation. And I would like to start asking if anyone here from the audience has any questions at all? No? Okay. Then let's move to the questions from home. <coughs> we have a couple of questions. First of all, will there be company visits as well during the master? Yes, we organize company visits. Uh, um, it depends also on the kind of companies that we are working on in the specific year, but it's something that we organize. Uh, um, so, yes, for sure we do. It's a part of our didactic uh, path. Great, thank you very much. Next question. Will the projects of the workshop be developed as a single or in group? It depends, uh, because sometimes the challenges are addressed uh, by the individual, uh, but also we have other projects that instead were developed in groups. So, so I commonly want to add something about this. Um, I think it also depends on the brief that the company is providing. And um, 
with some companies uh, it's a requirement to work in groups and uh, some companies are okay with working as individual projects so i think both ways great thank you there is one last question apart from the problem solving skills that professor mentioned which yeah. characteristics should a candidate possess in order to be admitted i mean i would say that uh, of course this is this is super important so we both test that as well as soft skills uh, i mean for us the interview is also a way in order to understand uh, the capability of student to to relate uh, to um, i mean what we ask is also understanding if the student is uh, um, fine in working in a multicultural environment willing to share knowledge so of course we have some things that are, let's say, more hard skill oriented. oriented. Um, of course, it's best if you already know how to use, uh, let's say, the graphic programs. I'm not going to lie because, um, of course, it's going to be like the way in which you're going to present uh, it, your project. But uh, um, yes, we will support you in this. If you are, if you know that you are interested and that uh, you come from a field that is not the one of design or architecture, um, but you're like you're willing to to join, um, I think it's important that uh, um, you start as well, maybe learning a bit of uh, the graphic skills uh, in order to be able to, you know, be already a little bit smooth enough uh, into that, uh, so that you you don't come like. From, from total scratch on, on that. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I think like you mentioned, it's really important to have the base knowledge of the basic skills of Adobe softwares like Illustrator, Photoshop, and Design. But nevertheless, uh, we were taught by you uh, how to use InDesign and create presentations, so that's still okay. But it's basically important to be able to communicate your ideas and your skills uh, to the companies and to the master. So. so one thing that one thing that I would like to add uh, that uh, um, really this master is there for you to um, take advantage in a good way of uh, the situation of uh, um, let's say the profession the professionals that uh, uh, are there and understanding. Uh, um, what they can give you. So, in my opinion, it's important that you are curious and that you try as much as possible to get the most out of uh, the situation in which you are placed in, I would say, you know? Yeah. Because the more you are exposed, the more you, you like, you do that, uh, let's say, um, uh, proactive, uh, uh, the more you have that proactive attitude, the better, the better it is. Uh, but this is not only in this master, I would say, generally speaking, always, no? For sure. Thank you. Uh, there are two uh, more questions, but uh, I may, if I may ask you to answer them real quickly because we are running out of time. So the first one is diving into the technical aspect of research. What kind of guidance help can the student expect to receive, speaking in terms of field guidance? And the next one, sorry, I will ask them in together. What are the required and most used softwares? I love the <laughs> Sure, sorry. I will repeat it. Diving into, um, like, what kind of guidance help can the student expect to receive in the terms? Yeah. Yes. So, um, both from, uh, let's say, the design path, so like mm, helping them in order to define what a concept is, for example, no? because maybe mm, it's important to have like an idea that could match the need of the company itself and that can be interesting. So that for sure can be a guidance. But another guidance could be, for example, the one of... Uh, um, I don't know, supporting them in the material research because maybe a company works with specific materials or, for example, if you are working in a very, very technical environment like the one of uh, Formula, Uno, Formula One, it's important that uh, like you get some information on how a garment is constructed in order to be able to then uh, redesign it, no? So the guidance is, I would say, 360 throughout the, um, the path. That continues exchange in that sense. Great. Yeah. And the last one was about the uh, most used softwares during the program. 
So we use um, Clo3D, I would say. Um, now we add the rhinoceros, but of course, uh, Illustrator and Photoshop uh, and InDesign. Great. Thank you, Dan. Thank you for being with us today and stay with us for our next presentation.